Hi Aquarius, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle reading for the month of August 2018. As you know, this is strictly a general reading, but if you want clarity, accuracy and answers to any questions, I welcome and invite you to go up there and press that button and it will take you to my website where you can see the services that I offer and how to either schedule a private reading with me or a private Reiki healing session with me. I want to truly thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, and sharing these videos with others. We start our first week off, the beginning of the first week of August, Aquarius, with a water card. And you have been given the Seven of Water. And water cards are relationship cards, and sometimes they may be intimate, and sometimes they may not be. They may be, uh, you know, relationships with friends or other acquaintances. This tells me that there is a decision that you have to make that is involving an individual or other people around you in your circle. And there may be three to possibly five individuals uh, that you are being confronted to make this decision about. But three, there's three strong possibilities here. There may be three people out there advocating for you that are going to step up and support you, or there may be three individuals that you are having a struggle with. I do see that there is need to do research when you're making this complex decision. So be sure that you cross your T's and dotted your dot I's and that you know all the information that you need to do before you make this decision. It is, it is necessary that you move forward with this ASAP. Uh, you can't procrastinate about this and say, well, it'll go away. Um, you know, I tell people the la, 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 la situation isn't going to work here right now. So please know that, uh, you know, you're the brightest light here and that you will succeed and you will solve this situation around these individuals in your best effort, in your best interest. You've been given the Ace of Water for the middle of the first week of August and this shows me that some of you are going to fall in love, you've met someone new, or some of you are in a relationship and you're realizing how strong and beautiful that love relationship is. For those of you that have been in a relationship for quite a time, I do see that you have been working on it and that this will be the resurgence of this loving relationship. It will improve and things are working out better now. I do see that that came from uh, communication. Some of you actually seeked out professional counsel for this, but know that this will improve this relationship. In order for you to be happy, it shows me that you need spiritual growth. And uh, I do see you're tapping into that so that you can uh, you know, uh, expand that and feel that growth. Also, I do see some of you are tapping into your own intuition. You're able to almost, uh, well, some of you I see are em empathic and psychic, but uh, for others I do see that you're just getting involved in that uh, intuition part of your life. You're tapping into it and you're going, yeah, you know, I really had that feeling and wow, it did come to fruition. Um, I do see some of you are moving and you're leaving your place of residence. Some of you are moving. Some will be to just a different location in your town, but I do see others are traveling overseas and that it will have to do with jobs or a loving relationship that's over there that you need to go to. Um, I also see that they may be coming to you as well. They just showed me that. So, for your beautiful oracle message from the Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards, uh, Dorian Virtue Deck, you've been given Aphrodite, the inner goddess. So this is all about you awakening the goddess within you and some of you may do that creatively through the arts, through dance and self-care and appreciation for your divinity. I see some of them you are tapping into your feminine side and you may be wanting to express that by the way you walk, you talk, you dress and where your beautiful self-development and creative endeavors start to flow and come into play. So this is all about realizing that you are this beautiful person, realizing that no matter uh, what other people say, don't allow them to influence how you feel about yourself. You are the goddess. You have the power and the control to change and be anything you want. So enjoy yourself, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful goddesses. The beginning of the second week, Sagittarius, or pardon me, slip of the tongue, Aquarius, you've been given the five of Earth. 
And the five of earth is all about uh, being concerned about money. So some of you I see have concerns of lack therein of the finances and the inflow and abundance of money. And you're quite concerned about others you are having to pay a large bill. They told me it's going to be a repair bill for probably a vehicle or something. Um, for others I see that you have got a rebate, uh, possibly a tax rebate, and they made an error and you're going to have to pay it back. So uh, I'm only giving you what my guides are sending me right now. Uh, so for some of you, it may resonate, others it won't. Uh, the wisdom to accept and help others, okay? You need to accept the help and the wisdom of others. So this talks about seeking out an accountant, a banker, a financial institution, someone who can guide you and maybe tweak your budget. Perhaps some of you have uh, been having difficulty. You may not be making as much money at this job, but you might have at another, or you the money's been great and you've been spending it too quickly on things you shouldn't. So this will help put your mind at ease. Sometimes it's just a matter of pulling in the buckle one knot, one whole notch, and or tweaking your your uh, budget so that you can be happier and, and uh, more at peace with where you are financially. I do see some of you that are self-employed, <coughs> have those same concerns about money and, uh, you know, profit and loss. Uh, right now. So again, this is, this card is a cautionary advisory card to tell you to go seek out professional advice. You've been given the Queen of Earth now for the middle of the second week of August, Aquarius, and this is making time for those around you. I do see that uh, perhaps um, there was a bit of a, a problem with people around you that caused a separation and a division there. Now you're going to be able to look at the situation as time, time heals all wounds, as they say, and I do see that you're going to look at them and the situation in a kinder, more cap, compassionate and understanding manner. Um, you've had time to either forgive them or them to forgive you. So please know that I do see that you're going to be taking a sensible approach towards people now around you. At the end of the second week, Aquarius, you've been given this beautiful, beautiful goddess guidance. Oracle card, leap of faith. So this is all about you knowing that you, you know, during your course of self-development here and, and wanting to evolve and grow spiritually and emotionally, you now uh, have the ability to take that leap of faith. That means pursue your passion. That means uh, keep your dreams open, <coughs> your dream book open and know that you're going to have the resources, the time, effort and possibly some unexpected resources to help you here. Take the risk and put your heart's true desire into action. So this is the universe and divine sources, spirit. Sorry, my throat. All this talking. Um, it's telling you that you can take this leap of faith now. Go forward with it. Don't be afraid. It's all about your personal self-development. And often that involves taking risks, leaps of faith, and going places we normally wouldn't go. So take that leap of faith. Aquarius. For your beginning of your third week of August, you've been given a beautiful water card and you've been given the king of water. And this talks about you opening your heart and minds to those around you. Um, being more open and, and, and understanding about uh, people general, uh, coming, generally coming into your circle and uh, being around you. But it can also have to do with your family and close friends. Please know that you may be getting some advice from a very wise individual and they may be quite mature, either older or just very knowledgeable. It may be a male or a female, it could be the king or the queen, but you need to know that you can take it because it's heartfelt. This individual is compassionate, trustworthy and uh, respected and cultured. So uh, you'll know this individual when they enter uh, and walk on your path with you to give you some uh, advice. When it comes to dealing with uh, people around you or a situation that you're in. I do see some of you are wanting to pay it forward. Some of you are wanting to do charitable acts. Some of you are wanting to give to the less fortunate or spend time with those that are alone and lonely. I do see some of you are offering your love and compassion and your skills to help others. Now for others it may be things as simple as material things, cleaning out your closet, getting rid of some of your things you don't want or need anymore and giving it to those that are less fortunate. You will be getting involved in some sort of charitable act. Perhaps you're going to do a service uh, with your gifts and offer it uh, gratis and freely to someone that you know deserves it, needs it and can't perhaps pay you right now. Now the middle of the third week, Aquarius, you've been given the magician. 
and the magician is all about the you uh, starting on your path and beginning new things and and uh, new ideas coming into you and uh, you know new passions that you have interest in taking maybe new new uh, courses in and uh, researching uh, a topic that you want to get involved in so and know that you're ready okay know that um, you have the resources and the ability to manifest your dreams right now so please know that life is magical and if we believe it and we uh, we manifest it we can bring it to us but this is basically telling you that now is the perfect time for you to move forward you, you have the time and the resources to do that so move forward with your passion move forward with your dreams life is short Aquarius and and, and do what you know is going to bring you your greater growth now at the end of the third week this is your Oracle message Cycles and Rhythms, this has come up for others as well as the Leap of Faith card, but this is about you honoring your cycles and your, uh, of your body and your energy levels and your emotions. And that's taking care of yourself. That's knowing that you know you need to be balanced spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically. That means that you need to bring those uh, chakras into alignment in order for you to function the way you should 100%. This is all about you honoring, honoring, honoring all those cycles and rhythms that are being brought on your path right now and counting your blessings for them and pursuing them, moving forward on your path. Honor your body and take care of it. Do what you have to do to keep yourself. But first of all, emotionally and mentally and spiritually, we need to be balanced in order to uh, also treat our bodies in a healthy way and have a heal. Your final week of August, Aquarius, you've been given the seven of earth for the beginning of that week. And this is telling me that maybe some of you have put out a proposal. Some of you have put out a little, a little idea or a passion or a something that's been kept secret for a while that you've been keeping within yourself. And now you're finally going to say, you know what, this is what I want to do. And I want to share this with you and share this uh, information about my passion. Uh, but you know what, some of you may have put out a, a proposal at your place of employment and you're wondering how it was received and how they're going to respond to it and you're worrying about it. Why haven't I heard from them? Why haven't they responded? Why haven't they let me know what they thought of it? Stop worrying because it's needless worry. They're telling you, you planted those seeds well, my friend. So be patient. You're going to get very positive uh, feedback when it comes. Aquarius, the middle of your last week, you've been given an air card, the Ace of Air. Now, Aces are the beginnings in all suits uh, of situations uh, coming into you, but the Ace of Air often has to do with legal issues and those types of things. But I do see that things are going to work out in your favor because you're going to be receiving information about some really good, brilliant ideas coming in that are going to assist you on your path to deal with any of these situations. Um, you're going to be able to see the truth in a situation. Uh, it, it, probably this is to do with legal issues, but it may have to do with uh, just personal issues in your life about an individual or people. But you're going to be able to see the truth in that situation. And it may be a little challenging in the beginning, okay? But please know that these ideas are referred to coming into you as brilliant. Now, your final card for the reading here is bold. That is your oracle beautiful message, my friend. Unleash your adventurous side and take risks and be daring. So there you go. You had the leaf of faith, right? Uh, you had the goddess, the beginning of the month, to say that you have control. Let it exude. You've had embrace the cycles and rhythms of your life where they're going on your path. Now be bold. Step out there. Let the world know what you want to do and where you're going and express that. Express that joy with everybody else out there. Unleash your adventurous side and take risks and be daring. So take that leap of faith. Follow that path. This is a message from the divine and from the universe saying it's your time. I wish you a great remainder to today, Aquarius, and a wonderful optimistic month of August to look forward to. Please know that I continue to stand in that circle of light for you, and I wish you many blessings.